Alright, here we go, guys. This is Patanadex School Week 12 Help. And, of course, we have, once again, our cool shows all around here. I wonder if you know all of these. These are some of the shows that I like to watch also. And some of the ones that you like. Um, this is an old one that I watched when I was a kid, your age. And so is this one. And this is also another old one. If you know the names, you can let me know. Alright, let's get started with going over our homework. Now, what should you do at a red light? Yes, we should stop. Always stop at a red light. Number two, how far should you be from another car? Far away, so you can stop. What is the name of the bad thing in the picture? Tailgating, swimming, or turning? Tailgating. If the road is wet, what can make an accident? Slipping and sliding. How can you stay safer in a car? Wear a seatbelt. What is this place called you can't see in mirrors? Is it the bat zone? No. The bald spot? No. The blind spot. Because you're blind, you can't see it. And how to keep your fingertips safe? You got to keep them curled like this. Curled. Straight. If you keep your fingers straight, you can cut your fingers off so that's bad and next how do you stop an oil fire two ways to stop it can you scream and run no pour water no use a fire extinguisher or cover it next we have oil fire plus water equals a bigger fire and finally how can you prevent a fire at home? Unplug your electronics. Do not burn trash. Never leave the stove on and walk away while cooking. And do not leave candles lit or on fire. Now, we are going to start talking about some accidents and safety. So, what are some accidents that can happen at home? Let's start with number one falling down from stairs or high places well this is falling down from a high place so you can also fall down the stairs and get hurt you can fall down the stairs at school or if you're very silly you can fall down the school from you can fall down from sliding next to the pool where i see Ocean sometimes sliding here. All the way down on the pool. So this is very dangerous because you can fall. And even though I tell you, every time, don't slide down, you still do. What's another place where you can fall? What about the monkey bars? I saw some students falling off the monkey bars last year and get hurt so we have to be very careful from falling from high places now we also need to be careful from getting cut by sharp things well this is a sharp things you should never play with a knife and you should only use one if you're cooking Try to stay away from sharp objects if you don't need to use them. And if you do, remember what we learned. Curl your fingers so you don't cut your fingers off. Okay? Next, we have using damaged electrical devices or equipment. Well, let's see what happens. If you put way too many things into an outlet, it can be very bad. 
if the wire is broken, it can also be very bad. So always be careful and don't use any electronics that are broken. What about teasing pets and making them angry? If anyone has a cat or a dog, you should know that they're a lot like people. If you bother a cat, the cat will get angry. If you bother a dog, the dog will get angry. So if you are mean, it's possible the cat or the dog will be very angry. So be careful and treat animals very nicely. Next, we have taking the wrong medicines or breathing in chemical substances. So taking the wrong medicine. Taking the wrong medicine, what happens if you're supposed to take one, but you took six? You can have, you can get very sick. Because one has exactly how much you need. If you take too much, it can be very, very bad. So don't take medicine alone. Only take medicine with mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. Okay? Next we have the breathing in chemical substances. All of this stuff that you can find to clean and wash your home. It's actually very bad to breathe. You shouldn't be breathing this a lot. You shouldn't be using it in closed places either. And you should absolutely never mix two chemicals because it can make a very 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 dangerous gas very very dangerous okay so be very careful with the chemicals under your sink or to clean your house and finally leaving joss sticks or candles or playing with fire Sometimes we leave joss sticks or candles on fire and we walk away. But we should not. Sometimes it can catch on fire, some paper or some toys. And then the whole house can catch on fire. So we need to be very careful and keep these someplace very, very safe. Now let's take a look at traffic signals. We learned about this last year, but let's go over it again. Let's see who is being good and who is being bad. We'll put a big red X over the good, the bad people. Okay. So we have this person over here. They are walking across the street on a green light. That means they can get hit by a car. This person is very bad. This person is also walking across the street and they are very bad because it's a green light. This light is red and there is a crosswalk signal so she is walking across the street and that is okay but you still need to look both ways. So turn your head and look both ways. And I'll show you why. And finally, this person over here. Well, we can't see if this is red or green. But if it is green, then this person is allowed to walk. Now, 
like it says here, you have to make sure all the vehicles are completely stopped. So this car is stopped, and then you can start walking. Because sometimes cars won't stop, and you can get hit by a car. And you know that living in Konken, cars don't like to stop. You need to wait <clears throat> until there are no cars. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens. You have a place to walk, and you have a green light. But this car is coming anyway, so you need to be very, very, very safe and careful. Wait for this car, and then you can walk. All right, next up we have safety with buses. We learned about this before. We should wait at the bus stop. Wait for the bus. Do not stand in the street. Do not stand near the bus. Sometimes the bus can drive very fast and the bus can hit you like this person because they were standing in the street but you were smart and you were sitting down and waiting for the bus also wait for the bus to stop before getting on or off that's right the bus should stop completely before you get on or get off the bus if you don't wait for the bus to stop and the bus is still moving, you can jump off the bus and then fall down and get hurt. Okay, so you should always wait for it to stop. And especially to get on the bus. What happens if you try to get on the bus and you miss? You can fall under the bus and the bus can run you over. So be very, very careful. Now, when you get on the bus, you either have to stand up, get a seat, or, and always hold the rail. So the metal bar on the top, you should hold it with your hand so you don't fall. Now, what about a train? The train is a lot safer, but you should also wait on the side. So people can get out first, and then when everyone is finished getting out of the train, you can come inside. Next, we have us sitting on the train. If there is someone old, if there is an old person like a grandma or a grandpa, someone who is pregnant or disabled, you should stand up and let them sit down so they can uh, rest because they need it more than you, okay? And if there is some emergency, you can always find one of these and even make a phone call or call the police. Now, what about riding a motorcycle? A lot of us in Thailand ride motorcycles every day to and from school or all around the city. But it's important that you have a helmet. A helmet can save your life. If you fall off the bike, and you hit your head, it's very dangerous. But not only if you are on a motorcycle. It's also dangerous if you are on a bicycle too. See, I drew a helmet on this kid. Because it's dangerous no matter what you're riding that you wear a helmet if you're going fast or you fall. Even a surf skateboard or a skateboard, you should be wearing a helmet. And 
for protection, you should also wear gloves, elbow pads, and knee pads so you don't get hurt. Let's see what happens when you don't wear, when you wear a helmet safely. Let's take a look at that in slow motion. Alright, see how safe he is because he's wearing a helmet? If, you, if he wasn't wearing a helmet, he could easily be in the hospital or worse. It's very important to wear a helmet. Now, how about boats? Well, we have lots of boats in Thailand, and these are actually very dangerous. Why? Well, the boats are moving back and forth, and sometimes you can fall in between the boats because you don't get off. Well, so you have to wait until the boat is completely stopped and then you have to step off the boat gently. You have to be very careful not to fall in. If you fall in this water, it's very, very dangerous. Okay? So when you are getting on and off the boat, be very careful and wait for it to stop completely. If you need, wear a life jacket and get off the boat safely okay now last but not least if you need help or you have an accident call for help sometimes we can't do anything by ourselves if you don't know what to do you need to shout for help if you can you can also clap your hands, wave your hands, or wave a cloth if you can't talk. Sometimes you need help, but you can't yell because yelling might be dangerous, okay? Now, if you can't get any help, call 191 or a police station or a fire station and tell them what happens. It's very important so you can stay safe if anything bad happens at home, if there's a fire, if there's an accident, you need to be very careful, okay? Today we will have a health, health quizzes about what you learned today in our chapter. This was our class today, and good job listening and finishing our class. I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.